Welcome everybody, this is Dr. Bola, both certified physician in cardiology, interventional cardiology and internal medicine, certified by the American Board of Internal Medicine. If you are new to this channel, then definitely consider hitting the subscribe button below and switch on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos that I pause. Does daily vitamin supplementation prevent heart disease? I get asked this question regularly by my patients that I see in the cardiology clinic. In this video, I review the current literature about vitamins and their role in the prevention or reduction of heart disease. So let us find the answer to this question together. Vitamins are a number of chemically unrelated families of organic substances that cannot be synthesized by humans, with the exception of vitamin D and need to be ingested in the diet in small quantities to prevent disorders of metabolism. There are 13 essential vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin B group of vitamins, and vitamins C, D, E, and K. The B vitamins include thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, pantothenoic acid, biotin, B6, B12, and folate. Of the 13 vitamins, 4 are fat soluble and these include vitamins A, D, E and K. And 9 are water soluble and these are vitamin B vitamins in addition to vitamin C. Total vitamin A consists of a preformed vitamin A which is retinol found in animal products. Also pro-vitamin A is found in fruits and vegetables that can be converted into vitamin A in the body. Now, let us review the effects of these vitamins in the heart prevention. Three of these vitamins are known as antioxidant vitamins. These vitamins are vitamin A, C, and E. The concept of nutritional antioxidants arose from the knowledge that oxidized low-density lipoprotein leads to coronary artery disease. The theory is that ingestion of nutritional antioxidants may retard the development of coronary artery disease and may do so through several different mechanisms. However, to this day, based on multiple randomized trials, there is no clear evidence that supplementation with vitamin E, vitamin C, and vitamin A is useful for primary or secondary prevention of cardiovascular disease, whether given alone or in combination. Vitamin B is a group of eight water-soluble vitamins, and to date, there is no evidence that daily supplementation with vitamin B improves or prevents heart disease. However, vitamin B6, B9, B12 are worth mentioning separately. High levels of amino acid homocysteine are associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, and supplementation by these three B vitamins can lower homocysteine levels. However, randomized trials of supplementation for secondary prevention do not support the hypothesis that these vitamins prevent cardiovascular disease. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin, and very few foods naturally contain vitamin D. Fatty fish livers are the exception. Dermal synthesis is a major natural source. Vitamin D from diet or skin synthesis is biologically inactive and requires enzymatic conversion to its active metabolite 1,25-dihydroxyvitamin D. Deficiency of vitamin D and its metabolites have significant clinical implications regarding calcium hemostasis and bone metabolism, and leads to rickets in children, osteomalacia in children and adults, and the development of osteoporosis with increased risk of fracture and falls in older adults. Because dietary vitamin D intake is often low in older adults, supplementation with daily vitamin D3, which is known as cold calciferol, is recommended. From the heart standpoint, there is no evidence that supplementation with vitamin D prevents or reduces heart disease. Vitamin K has a major role in coagulation pathways because it is a cofactor required for the activity of several key proteins containing carboxyglutamic acid residues. Dietary vitamin K is found in green vegetables like spinach and broccoli. Vitamin K deficiency is rare, except in neonates and patients with predisposing conditions, including hepatobiliary or pancreatic disease. 
There is no evidence that supplementation with vitamin K prevents or reduces heart disease. Vitamin supplementation is not necessary for most adults who eat a balanced and varied diet and get regular sun exposure or drink vitamin D fortified dairy products. Many people take vitamins and common formulations generally containing 0.5 to 1.5 times the daily reference intake of individual vitamins and these are likely safe in nearly all people. A balanced diet with fruits and vegetables promotes health by providing known vitamins and also contains fiber and replaces meat and animal fat. From the heart standpoint, vitamin supplementation does not prevent or reduce heart disease. If you have any question about what I presented to you today, then subscribe to my channel and share your question in the comment section below and I will reply to you. If you have a question that you would not like to share in public, then follow me on Twitter at Dr. Bolad and then send me a private Twitter direct message. Please like and share this video with family and friends. This is Dr. Bolad helping you with your heart health. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.